This is the story of DJ Chark. As most of us know DJ Chark from his 4 yard dash performance at the Combine. Most of us saw it. He was actually the fastest receiver at the Combine, which is a really big accomplishment. Because every single year in the Combine, you got crazy fast receivers, speed demons. And DJ Chark actually won that. And DJ Chark isn't usually known as a super fast receiver. So he actually won that. He's really good. He's LSU. Um, I think he has a chance to be like freaking Jarvis Landry or Odell Beckham, just like the other LSU receivers, guys. He's a first round pick, at least, I think. And which, whatever team he goes to, I'm sure he will fit in really well. And that'd be awesome if he could go to like the Dolphins or something with Jarvis Landry. The Giants have the pick number two, so I don't believe they can get DJ Shark. But. So basically, he went to Alexandra Senior High, where he also played wide receiver. He just warmed up his career there. And then LSU, they basically scouted him from there as a receiver. And that's where he came to be, the beast receiver we know him from today. And I found a little clip on YouTube about Leonard Fournette saying a little story about him. Well, Leonard Fournette was still in LSU. Y'all know Leonard Fournette too, Leonard Fournette. This year, he, had a, he was probably, one of, yeah, he was the best rookie running back this year. And not just rookie, he was probably top five running backs this year. And when people think of top five running backs, they think of like Le'Veon Bell and Zeke and all those other people. But we, Leonard Fournette doesn't usually come straight to our minds. But Leonard Fournette is a beast. And DJ Chark and him, I guess, were pretty good friends. So here's a little story of Leonard Fournette and Chalk. DJ Chark. He's been somebody kind of out of the blue. Everybody has talked about, saw him in high school, great sprinter, but physically he's gotten much bigger. And he could make a big impact on his football team this year. Yeah, uh, DJ, he stood out during the spring. Uh, kind of separated himself from a lot of people because he was working hard at it. And um, I told him, you know, since we kind of clowned him because he's a, he, was, he was the only person in our in our house because it's me, Brandon Harris, Don Alexander, and DJ Little together. So I kind of clowned him, clowned him every time. Like, man, you're the only person in the house that's not playing, man. You got to do something. So, uh, and, he, and, he, and he took it. He took it to heart, man. Uh, he's doing great now. So guys, this is pretty much the story of DJ Chark. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And make sure you comment down in the comment section which player you want me to do next. Uh, whether it's before the draft or after the draft. And I'm really excited for this next coming NFL draft that the Steelers will get. Um, but yeah, this is DJ Chark's story, guys. Best of luck to DJ Chark in the NFL. Best of luck to everything with DJ Chark. So thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. It's been your boy ARG. See y'all later. Peace.